Hello, it's Olga from SEO Slice. So this is a very short guide in which I'm going to show you how to exclude words from Google search results so that you get more refined search results and you are able to find the answer you are looking for more easily. So Google is getting better and better at providing us with the results we are actually looking for, but sometimes it still falls short. So that's why I decided to create this guide and now I am going to show you five different use cases uh, in which you can exclude certain words or phrases from your search results to, to, find, to find even better results. So uh, the way we are going to manipulate um, search results uh, is, going, is going to be by using Google search operators. So if you are not familiar with Google search operators, I strongly recommend you check my, my guide about this. Let me now, before I even show you those ways, show you the guide. So Google search operators. And I will add my brand and you will see the guide. So I strongly recommend you take a look at this guide because this is like really, really a great guide that, that has like everything you need, but, uh, to the point. Okay. So the first way, uh, the simplest way to exclude the specific, uh, words from search is by simply adding a minus sign. So minus, so let's say I want to look for other Olgas in SEO. So Olga SEO minus my surname. This way I won't be seeing uh, the results about me, but, uh, but about other Olgas that have something to do with SEO. As you can see, that's how it works. Let me now, uh, you, this way you can also exclude more than one word. So let's say I am looking for an SEO guide but I don't want it to SEO, information about SEO, but I don't want it to, uh, con to, to contain words like local to, I don't want them to be about local SEO and about international SEO. So international. Okay. And now I'm getting results about, about SEO without local and international. Another, another, uh, good, uh, very useful use case. Um, you can also use the minus operator to exclude the entire phrases or, or sentences. So let's say again, I'm looking for an SEO consultant, um, consultant, but I don't want the, um, but I don't want the results with, with my, with my name. So I'm excluding minus and uh, in quotation marks, I am placing my name and surname. Uh, you can use quotation quotation marks if you have more if you have the phrase that contains more than one word. You can also I could also do it in a different way. I will show you in just a second. So as you can see, this is this is the result. I could also do it this way: minus Olga minus Zarechna. But using using this uh, with uh, with quotation marks is probably an, an easier and more refined way of doing that. Another, 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 another way you can use a minus operator, the minus operator to exclude certain words is by, uh, by, for example, combining it with, with a specific, with the search operator site dot column. So the site, site dot col site, site column, uh, operator lets you see the results from a specific domain. So this way I'm seeing the results only from my, from my website, but let's say I don't want to see uh, the results uh, about uh, about an audit from my site. So site uh, site site column uh, my domain and mine is audit. I, I write a lot about audits, so in this way I don't want anything about audits. Uh, and as you can see. Uh, I don't, I don't have, I don't have, uh, I use the, the word audit on all of my pages. So this way there is just like one affiliate link that, that contains that. So that, that's quite, that's quite funny. Okay. Uh, number four is when you, when you want to, uh, for example, exclude, when you want to find a specific, um, let's say SEO guide and looking for an SEO guide. But I don't want uh, the results to be from, for example, mods. So minus site colon mods. This way, it will exclude the results from from mods. Let's say uh, I also uh, sorry, I made a mistake from mods column. 
Let's say I also don't want the results from Backlinko, so I'm doing the, doing the same site, backlinko.com. This way, I don't have the results from Backlinko, and you can like uh, you can like create more more such like site. Let's say I don't want a dress. And the same, and the same. So this is this is another, I would say, quite uh, interesting use case. Okay, and the last, uh, the last useful case for for that operator is if you want to check if your content is, for example, uh, copied by someone else. So I have a nice list of SEO podcasts. Let's say SEO podcasts. And I am adding SEO slide because I want uh, the, the results to come from my site. Okay. okay, so this is the list of my podcasts. So I will like copy this sentence and now I'm getting back to the results and I'm, I'm pasti pasting this sentence in quotation marks so that Google will look specifically for that sentence. And I'm adding minus site and my domain SEO slide. And here, oh, I can see that uh, there are at least two sites that are copying my content. So yeah, so this is this is a useful way of quickly checking if if you are if you have been copied. You can also use uh, this uh, if you, for example, want to check if your site uh, if your site has uh, JavaScript edit content and you want to check if Google is seeing that content. You can you can simply put. A specific unique sentence in, in in quotation marks and simply check if if Google is is seeing that sentence. So as you can see here, uh, it's seeing. So of course this content isn't added with JavaScript, but this is another useful case for that for that type of search operator. So uh, I hope this video helped you. Uh, you have to remember that uh, using those those uh, search operators really will really make you a way more uh, efficient searcher. And uh, I hope I hope this video helped you. If you have any questions or want me to shoot a video about a different search operator, a different thing you can do using Google, just let me know and I will shoot it for you. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.